Good morning guys, it's 10.15 and we are getting ready to start our strength and balance yoga class today. Today is Thursday, I hope everyone's ready, I hope you're feeling strong and I hope you're ready to start some movement. Today again we are going to focus on holding postures and on working on core strength along with other parts of your body of course you can't just have one part of your body be strong without working on the other so we're going to work on strengthening the shoulders the arms the spine along with working on flexibility in your legs rotations twists all kinds of stuff so i hope you've got some energy and i hope you're ready to start let's get started at the center of our mats as usual and we'll go from there Just gonna set this up so that I know you can see me. And coming to the center of your mats. Starting with your Tadasan. Intertwine your fingers, breathe in, exhale and stretch the arms over your head. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, gently lift up onto your toes. Keep that gaze fixed in front of you. Keep your balance. And feel the full body stretch here. Breathe. Taking another full breath here. As you exhale, very gently, you are going to release the fingers. Releasing the arms and lowering them down slowly by the side of your body. Take a breath in. And exhale. And let's do a side bend to start with. Opening up the sides. Left arm comes up. Palm faces up to the ceiling or the sky. Breathing in. Stretch up. Exhale and bend. Relax this opposite arm completely. Start to draw your belly in. Start to notice where you're feeling the stretch. You should feel it starting from your hip all the way through to the tops of your fingers. Breathe. Head and neck are in a neutral position here. And gently turn the palm out as you release. Inhale and exhale. Opposite arm comes up now. Right arm up, palm facing up to the ceiling. Breathing in, stretch. Exhale as you bend. Once again, relax this opposite arm completely. Feeling the stretch through the lateral side of your body here. Exhale as you release. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale and bend at the elbows. Now take your left arm, swing it over your right. Garudasan arms. Head is in the center, arms start by your chest. Inhale and as you exhale, you lift the arms away from your chest. We've done this a couple of times before. We're opening up our shoulder blades. So you always have to start with soft, smaller, simple movements to open up your body, to warm it up a little bit before you go into the more complicated movements. Breathe in. And as you exhale now, lower the arms back towards the chest. Slowly release the twist. Release and relax. Breathe in. And exhale. Reach the arms up one more time and bend at the elbows. This time take your right arm, swing it over the opposite side. Inhale. And exhaling, lift. Breathe. Draw the belly in. And exhale, gently lower the arms, slowly release the twist, release and relax, take a breath in. And exhale, let's continue working on the shoulders a little bit here. So bringing your fingertips to the tops of your shoulders. Inhale, bring your elbows together, start big circles here. Two, three, so a lot of us wake up with stiffness in the upper back and the shoulders. Four, one more. And five, and especially if you haven't done any other exercise so far today, this is a important way to just open up your shoulders before you start the rest of your practice. Three, four, last one, and five. Release and relax. Take a breath in and exhale. All right, moving on towards the lower part of the body now. Your feet are going to be about hips width apart. You're going to take your right leg off the ground first. So lifting that leg out back towards you and then behind you that's one movement two and behind you so here you're challenging your balance as well as the strength three we'll do five on each side four and behind you last one five and behind you 
So here, we are working on balancing on one foot. At the same time, you have to engage the muscles all through the leg as well as in your glutes and your belly to stay strong. So both things together. Lift the left foot off and behind you. Gaze is fixed at a point in front of you. Behind you. Three. Back. Four. Back. Last one. And five. And back. Very nice. Take a full breath in. And exhale. Keep your hands on your hips. Let's do simple hip rotations here with your feet a little wider than hips width apart. Slow circles here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And then reverse in the opposite direction. One. Two. Three. Four. And the last. One. Five. Release and relax. Take a breath. Exhale. Reset your feet. Now moving into our balancing postures, we're going to start with our vrikshas and our tree pose. So you're going to take your right foot, place the foot against the inner thigh of your left leg. Find that fixed point in front of you and then fold your hands in front of your heart. And remember, as always, you have the option of taking your foot to your calf if you can't reach all the way up to your thigh. Just make sure that you are not pressing your feet against the knee joint because this is guaranteed to make your knee hurt and it's absolutely the wrong technique of this pose. So make sure that you're either above the knee or below. Once you found that fixed point in front of you, your hands fold and you raise the arms up and above you. Full body stretch here. Balancing on one foot, pressing all five toes into the ground, keeping that knee joint slightly soft. Your belly is tucked in. Breathe. Always good to start with grounding postures like Vikshasan to bring your attention to this moment, to what you're doing right now so you're not distracted. Keep breathing. And very slowly from here, you are going to lower the arm. Gently release the hands and release that foot. Release and relax. Inhale. And as you exhale, switch sides now. Starting with the left foot. Lifting it up, placing it against the inner thigh of the right leg. Once again, find your balance with a fixed point in front of you. Fold your hands and then raise them over your head. Breathe. Start to notice the difference between the left and right side today. Again, noticing if it feels the same on both sides. And that's great if it's as easy to balance on your left as your right. Notice if there are any differences. Just noticing your own body. Breathing. Once again, make sure all five toes are pressed in, standing knees slightly soft and belly is slightly tucked in. So you can hold Vikshasana for up to a minute or more if you like on your own practice. I try and keep holding it at least for about 45 seconds when we practice together. Just noticing. Release the hands and finally release the foot. Take a full breath in. And exhale, moving into our chair pose now to work on strengthening the muscles in the tops of your thighs. So your feet are just wider than your hips. Arms come out and extend in front of you. Inhale as you exhale, you bend your knees, you hinge your hips back. So immediately you feel the stretch in the tops of your thighs. All 10 toes are pressed into the ground so you're not lifting off your toes at all. Breathe. Taking five full breaths here. Inhale fully and exhale completely. Just one more breath. Breathe in. And as you exhale, gently straighten the knees and lower the arms. Take a breath in. Open up your chest and arms. Exhale and release. All right. Now we are going to practice a more challenging version of chair pose. We're going to practice single leg chairs. So you are going to take your right foot off the ground. Bring that foot up and see if you can get it to the top of your left thigh. Once you found your balance here, you can bend the knee. But in case you're not able to find your balance, it's okay to take support. So holding on lightly, bending that knee, extending with the opposite arm. 
if you can balance wonderful keep the arms extended and bend with the knees bent make sure that the knee your hips are hinging backwards so you are not getting any pain in your knee and from here you're going to start to straighten that leg now added challenge from here try to go into a small forward bend just a little one just playing with the balance challenging yourself inhale as you rise slowly up exhale as you release the arms and finally release that foot inhale and exhale not an easy sequence but a great one to work with challenging yourself when it comes to balance now take your left foot up and again bring that foot to the top of your thigh see if you need to support yourself with your arm or not if you don't that's great if you do that's fine as well so here this is with support i'm bending the knee i'm hinging my hips back and this is with both arms extended now i'm paying attention to make sure that my knee does not hurt at all and once i breathe one more time here as i exhale i'm going to start to straighten my knee and gently lean into a small little forward bend not too deep just a little bit just working with moving my body around a little while i'm balancing on one foot inhale as i rise all the way up exhale as i lower the arms and i finally release that foot fantastic guys take a breath in and exhale and now opening up the feet a little wider let's come into position to practice our goddess pose one of my favorites it's intense but it's really good to strengthen your muscles especially the inner thighs so your toes are pointed away from you your hands are on your hips you take a breath in bring your belly in as you exhale you bend the knees and open up those thighs hands are folded in front of your heart your breathing is normal your back is straight hold let's take five breaths here nice big inhalation and complete exhalation two more just two more breathe in exhale and one last breath here exhale and gently straighten the knees release the arms take a full breath in open up your chest exhale and let it go and now both my feet are facing forward i'm opening them up just a little more now i take my left foot up turn it out 90 degrees my arms come parallel inhale and as i exhale i shift my shoulders and i lean in towards my triangle pose both legs are straight at the knees i'm feeling the stretch in the inner thighs my arm is extended. I'm also feeling a stretch in my shoulder blades. My head and neck are neutral. Breathe. Taking one more breath here. Now bend at the knee. Bring your hand to the outside of this foot now. Inhale as you exhale. Stretch that right arm overhead. Breathe. Inhale. Exhaling. Bring both hands to the outside of your foot. Now you're going to swivel that right heel off the ground, come up onto your toe. Hold here. Feeling the stretch now in the top of your thigh, the top of your right thigh. This is your hip flexor. Important muscle to keep stretched and flexible. Inhale and exhale. Let's take one more breath here. And from here we're going to do a small little hamstring stretch. So you are going to release that right knee down to the ground top of the foot flat as well one hand on each side of your left leg straighten the knee lift the toes off the ground press down with the heel and lean forward into your hamstring stretch breathe and stay the more you push your hips back the deeper the stretch in the leg so figuring out what works for you and just stay here enjoy that deep stretch again hamstrings get tight with pretty much any movement, any kind of exercise. So very important to make sure that you keep releasing and stretching those things, those muscles every time, every day. Inhale, exhale, straighten that knee, foot, bring it back, both hands on the outside. Inhale, exhale, lift the left right knee off the ground, swivel the heel. Right arm comes up, breathe in, exhale, come all the way back. Both feet facing forward, inhale, as you exhale, take your right foot out 90 now. Inhale, 
exhale shift the shoulders and lean into your triangle on the opposite side breathe Once again, notice the difference between the left and right side. Keep both knees straight. Take another full breath here. And then gently bend at that knee. Bring the hand to the outside of your foot. Inhale as you exhale. Reach overhead with your left arm. And then gently bring both hands down to the outside of that foot. Swivel the left foot off the ground. Now toes are on the ground. The left heel is off. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And as you exhale here, you are going to gently release that left knee down to the ground. The top of the foot comes flat. One hand on each side. Straighten that right knee. Bring the toes in towards you. Press down with the heel and stretch into your hamstring stretch. Stay here. Breathe. Most people will find that one side feels significantly tighter than the other. And that's absolutely normal. We all have a dominant side. And it's that side that tends to get a little stiffer. So just notice it. Breathe in. As you exhale, gently bring that foot back down to the ground, both hands on the outside of your foot. Tuck the toes of the right foot in, swivel the heel, bring the heel back down to the ground. Inhale and exhale, lift that left arm up. Exhale, come all the way back up. Keep your arms up. Inhale and exhale. Now taking that left foot out again, turn to the left. Breathe in as you exhale, bend at the knee, coming into warrior two. Hold. Warrior two, again, another wonderful pose to practice strengthening your body. It really tones all parts of your lower body. It keeps your arms nice and toned as well because the arms have to stay nice and steady here. Breathe in. And exhale. Moving into a small vinyasa flow here. Bend that left arm, extend the right arm. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, reverse, warrior. Inhale and stretch again. Exhale to reverse warrior. Last one. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and back. Bringing your arms out again to your warrior two. Inhale as you exhale. Straighten that knee. Both feet facing forward. Keep those arms up. Inhale. Exhale and turn the right foot out. Turn to the right. Bend at the knee and hold. Making sure that your knee does not extend beyond your ankle. This is the one thing you need to keep aware of when you're practicing warrior two. Just make sure that the knee is either directly above the ankle or behind it. As long as it's not extending over it. Take another breath here. And now as you exhale, you're going to bend that right arm. Extend with the left. Breathing in. Stretch. Exhale to reverse warrior. Once again, inhale and stretch. Exhale and back. Last one. Inhale and stretch. And exhale and back. Come back to warrior two. Take a breath in. Exhale and straighten the knee. Both feet facing forward. The arms stay up for a little longer. Inhale as you exhale. Now rotate the torso to the left. Inhale as you exhale. Lean towards that leg. Bringing your hand on top of the foot. Opposite arm comes all the way up. Breathe. Inhale and gently come all the way back up. Exhale and rotate to the right. Inhale. As you exhale, take your left palm to your right foot. Opposite arm up. Breathe. Take another full breath here. Exhale and come all the way back up. And now you can release those arms. Inhale, raise them up. Exhale and lower. And taking them behind your back now. Intertwine your fingers, open up your chest. Making it nice and strong, pulling your hands down behind your back. 
Take your left foot out 45 degrees. Now turn to the left, open your chest as you exhale. You lean forward, you lift your arms up, take your head towards your knee. Breathe. Feeling a simultaneous stretch in the upper body as well as the lower. Your shoulder blades are being stretched and the legs. Inhale, use the strength of your arm. Come all the way back. Both feet forward. Now take the right foot out. Turn to the right. Once again, open the chest. As you exhale, lower down. Take your head towards your knee. The arms come up again. Keep breathing. Trying to press your palms to each other. Inhale. Exhale and come all the way back up. Now preparing for your forward bend with wide legs. Taking your feet as wide as you can be comfortable with. Inhale. Open the chest. As you exhale, take the arms up. Drop your head and neck. Stay here. Keep breathing. Taking one more breath here. Release the hands slowly. And now bring your forearms down to the ground. If your forearms don't reach the ground, bring your palms to the ground. And stay. Head and neck relax. Open up your feet a little more if you're comfortable. Stay here. Making sure the upper body is completely relaxed. So the whole stretch is now coming and focused on the lower body. Breathe. Taking another few breaths here. And exhale. From here, press down with your palms into the ground. Bringing your palms directly under your head now. Inhale. As you exhale, lift the left arm up. Taking it all the way back up. Twist. And release. Inhale, exhale, right arm goes up. Release. Once again, inhale, exhale, left. Release. Breathe in. Exhale, right. And release. Inhale. And exhale. From here, start to soften your left knee. Keep that knee slightly soft. Bend it and gently bring the knee down to the ground. Right knee meets the left and I'm now sitting in my Vajrasana. Hands are folded and resting on top of my thighs. Inhale and exhale. Taking another breath here and exhale. Now from here let's start our lateral side bends. Again we are practicing side bends now sitting on our heels. Bring your left arm down to the ground. Inhale as you exhale lift the right arm. Stretch and bend. Make sure that you are not lifting your butt off your heels at all. Both heels can be felt under your butt. You're evenly distributing your weight between the left and right side. And gently release. Inhale and exhale. Now the left arm comes up. Inhale as you exhale, you bend. Take one more breath here. And slowly release. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way back up. Come onto your knees now. Now coming into position to practice downward facing dog. We are going to start here. Palms are going to be on the ground. Knees on the ground as well. Palms shoulders width apart. A little bit in front of you. Tuck the toes in. Lift the knees off. Push back onto your heels and come into your downward facing dog. Hold here. Keep breathing. This is a full body stretch. It strengthens all parts of your body, your back, your arms, your shoulders, your wrists, your ankles, all the muscles through the legs. Breathe in and exhale and hold. Inhale. And as you exhale now, you are going to move into your high plank. How are we going to do this? All you're going to do is shift your body weight. And you can tuck your toes in. So you can take your feet back slightly. Come into your high plank. Your body is in a nice line. Your hips are strong. You're not dipping them and you're not raising them into down dog either. They're nice and steady in the center. Breathe. Focus on where you're getting your strength from. So use the strength from all parts of your body. Use your arms. Use your legs. Draw the strength from your belly, 
from the muscles in your glutes and your butt and use the strength in your back all of those parts combined will help you stay here breathe in now as you exhale gently soften the knees come to rest in child's pose stretch the arms away from your body and breathe take one more breath here and exhale and from here coming back onto your knees repeating downward facing dog with a little bit more movement today inhale exhale tuck the toes in and push back on your heels again so here you are back in your downward facing dog take a breath in and exhale practicing a little bit of movement here we are going to start moving our knees so i want you to take your left knee bend it bring the left knee to the right elbow and take it back right knee to the left elbow and back left knee to the right elbow and back right knee to the left elbow and back one more time left knee to the right elbow back move slowly right knee to the left and back inhale and as you exhale you move into your up dog small arch in your back your body stays off the floor inhale back to your down dog and once again upward facing dog small arch in your back exhale to your down dog one last time upward facing dog last one back to your down dog from here soften your knees and once again rest in your child's pose release the arms feel the stretch in your shoulders catching your breath here making sure that you're still breathing evenly inhale as you exhale slowly coming up coming back onto your hands and knees now preparing to practice movements for strengthening the muscles in the lower body again so starting with cat cow you're going to have your palms shoulders width apart knees are hips width apart tops of the feet are flat on the ground inhale as you arch your back lift your head and neck exhale round your shoulders round your back tuck your chin in towards your chest once again neck up chin up breathe in exhale chin to the chest round your shoulders and back one more time neck up chin up and exhale gently chin to the chest round your shoulders and back come back here to your neutral position with your back flat inhale and exhale starting to move for from our hips you're going to take your left leg off the ground toes are pointed up to the ceiling or the sky taking the leg up and down two down three down four down last one five and down don't release the leg take it out down two down three down four down last one five and down don't release now straighten that leg toes are pointed away from you up one up two up three up four last one up and five bend at the knee and release inhale and exhale right leg goes up we are going to start that same set of movement first taking the toes up to the ceiling up and down two down three down four down last one five and down knee comes up one down two down three down four down last one five and down leg goes all the way back toes pointed away one down two three four last one guys five and release inhale and exhale working now with your upper body inhale as you exhale just lift the left arm off the ground stretch 
hold, press down with your right palm and release, inhale, exhale, right arm comes out, stretch the arm away, press down with your left palm and release, combining lower and upper body now, inhale, as you exhale, lift the right leg off, left arm, stretch, toes are pointed away from you, fingers are pointed away from you, inhale and exhale, release, breathe in, exhale now, left leg, right arm, stretch the toes and fingers away from you, breathe, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, rest in child's pose. Take another breath here. And exhale. One more breath. And exhale. From here, slowly come up and turn to lie down on the side. Let's do some movements for the side now. So we are going to keep our knees stacked one over the other. We'll start with some leg lifts. Top leg up, toes pointed away. One. Two. Three, four, one more, and five. From here, let's do circles. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Knees stacked one over the other. Heels come off. Top leg up. One, two, three, four, and the last one, five, release, and come on to your forearms now, let's do one round of forearm planks, so you are on your forearms, your legs are stacked one over the other, your feet are stacked one over the other, take a breath in, as you exhale, lift the torso off the ground, bring your arm up, just hold for five, and exhale, take another breath in, Breathe in. One more breath. Last breath here, guys. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Slowly release. Come up to sit. And let's switch sides. Now taking support of your head on the opposite side. Knees are stacked one over the other. We start with our leg lifts. Top leg extended. One. Two, three, four, and five. From here, circles. One, two, three, four, and five. And then reverse. One, two, three, four, and the last one, five. From here, stack your knees one over the other. Lift the heels off the ground. Top knee is up. One. Two, three, four, and five. Well done. Release. Inhale. As you exhale, come up onto your forearms on the opposite side. Stack your legs one over the other. Inhale. And as you exhale, you lift and hold. Keep breathing. Just another three breaths. Full inhalations and complete exhalations. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly release. And come up to sit. Practicing one round of hip openers now. We're gonna do fire lock pose. So bring your left shin underneath. Left shin is in line with the top of your mat. The right shin rests on top of the left. When you look down, you should be able to see a little triangle between your legs. Hands are resting on your knees. Inhale. As you exhale, you lean forward. Release the arms. Stretch them away from you and hold. Feeling the stretch in your hips and in your glutes. Keep breathing. One more breath here. And slowly come all the way back. Switching sides now. Your right shin is underneath. Your left shin is stacked on top. 
inhale, bring your palms to your knees. As you exhale, you lean forward. Release your head and neck and stretch the arms away. Once again, notice the difference between the left and right side. And slowly come all the way back up. Release the legs and now come into position to practice your forward bends. Starting with Janu Shishasan, head to knee pose. Right leg extended, left leg bent to the knee. Toes are flexed in towards you. Inhale, step tall. Exhale and move forward. Relax your head and neck and feel the stretch through your legs. Slowly release and switch. Left leg extended, right leg bent at the knee. Toes pointed in towards you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean forward. Notice the difference once again between the left and right side. Also feeling the stretch in your back and in your hips. And gently release. Both feet together now, both legs together. Toes pointed in towards you. Take a full breath in as you exhale. Lean forward into your Paschimottanasana. Head and neck relax. Full stretch through your spine, your legs, your shoulders. Breathe. in Paschimottanasana on your own time whenever you want to practice it. It's uh, known as a stretch which increases endurance and stamina so I always encourage people to try and do it by themselves as well. Slowly release. Come up to sit. Let's do one round of a and seated wide leg forward bend. So your legs are wide apart. Toes are flexed in towards you. Turn to your left leg. Hands rest on top of your thighs. As you exhale, you slide the hands down. You try to get your head closer to your knee. Do not push or force. Just go where your body allows you to go today. Breathe. And slowly release. As you switch sides, you turn to your right. Hands come back to the tops of your thighs. Inhale. As you exhale, again, you move forward. Just allowing yourself to go only where your body allows you. No pushing, no forcing, breathe. Releasing very slowly, all the way back up. Now from here, you're gonna bring your hands to your shins. As you inhale, you exhale and you release your head and neck. Soften the arms, bring them in between your legs, wherever you're comfortable once again, and hold. Feeling the stretch in your inner thighs, in your hips and in your glutes. Keeping your toes flexed in. Take another breath here. And very slowly straightening up. Breathe in. And as you exhale, coming into one round of seated butterfly stretch. Now with the soles of your feet pressed together, you hold on to your feet. Inhale as you sit up tall. Exhale as you allow the hips to open. Again, no pushing. Keep breathing. One more breath here and exhale. Slowly release. Release the legs and turn to lie down on your side and then flat on your back. You are starting with one round of bridge pose. So your feet are hips width apart and your knees are pointed up towards the ceiling. Your arms are by the side of your body. Take a full breath in here and as you exhale, lift the torso off the ground moving your chest towards your chin. Hold. Bridge pose helps to stabilize all the muscles along the spine. Very good for the health of your back. Again, something you can practice on a daily basis. Breathe. And gently release, beginning with your upper back. 
releasing the mid back and finally releasing the lower back take a breath here inhale and exhale and now from here you're going to take your left leg off the ground bring the ankle on top of your right thigh intertwine your fingers and reach behind the right thigh and draw that knee in towards you slowly Very slowly release the right foot. Now cross the left leg over the right. Find your little twist. Bring your arms out in T position. And as you exhale, take your legs to the right, your head to the left. Spinal twist. Reclining spinal twist. Feel the release through your back as well as in your shoulders. Inhale gently as you bring the legs back to the center. Bring the arms back by the side of the body. Release the twist. Reset your feet now. And now bring your right leg and place the ankle on top of your left thigh. Intertwine your fingers. Reach behind the left thigh. Draw that knee in towards you and hold. And slowly release. Release the left foot. Cross the right leg over the left now. Find your twist. Arms come out in T position. Take the legs to the left and the head to the right. And gently coming all the way back to the center. Release the twist, bring the arms back by the side of the body and turn to lie down on your side. From here, gently come up to sit in a comfortable seated position. Practicing two more movements in your seated position before we end our session today. Palms come to your knees, take a full breath in and exhale. Now take your left palm and place it on top of your right. Inhaling, sit up tall. As you exhale, look over that shoulder. Feel the stretch in your upper back. Gently bringing the head back to the center. Release the palm. Inhale. And exhale. And now place your right palm on top of your left. Once again, inhale and sit up tall. Exhale and twist. And slowly bring the head back to the center. And release that right palm. Take a full breath in. And exhale. One round of Brahmudra now, turning your head very gently towards the left, chin towards the left shoulder. Slowly coming back to the center and taking the head towards the right now, the chin towards the right shoulder. Slowly coming back to the center. Taking the head back, the chin upwards. Slowly coming back to the center and finally taking the head down, the chin towards the chest. Slowly coming back to the center. Keeping the eyes closed, practicing three rounds of Om Chanting to end our session today. Breathing in. Om. Gently rubbing your palms together and slowly rubbing your hands. And that was the end of our session, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope to see you again next week when we'll be back on Tuesday and Thursday for more strength and balance. Have a wonderful day and stay strong. Take care.